So we know today's topic is work. Hopefully by the end of this presentation, you will understand what work is and what work isn't. Taking a look at the first question on your paper, Elijah, will you read that question, please? It is a review question, and you can find your answer to the review in the Before You Learned Objectives. Good. Weight is the force of gravity acting on an object, and it is measured in units called newtons. If you did not get this, please fix your answers. <coughs> Thomas, you got it? Okay, number two, Cassidy. Will you read up here first? Take a look at those pictures. Imagine those things are actually going on. Are all of those considered work? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah? All of them? Are you sure? Keep thinking about that question while we read. Go ahead, Cassidy. Now look at the pictures again. Are all of them using a force to move an object a distance? Michelle? No. No. Not all of them. Cassidy? The force used to move the object must be in the same direction the object goes. That's another key part to identifying what work is and what work isn't. The force and the direction have to be the same. <coughs> we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Cassidy, call on someone new. Oh, no, sorry, you have one more read. Now you can call on someone new. Make a little note on your paper in the margin somewhere. Just write down Y for yes or N for no for each of these concepts. It, you don't have to write down the, the action. Just is work being done or not? Mowing the lawn. What do we think? Thomas, mowing the lawn, yes or no? Yes. You're pushing an object. You're making something move by using force. What? Oh, well, hurry up. Danielle, holding a bag of groceries. Good. Not work. Why not? Because you're not like taking stuff out of it. You're just standing still. Okay, you're just standing still. You're not making the object move. We'll come back to what if you were walking with the bag of groceries? <coughs> like, what if this iPad in my hand was a bag of groceries and I was walking? Is that work? Yeah. No. We'll come back to why, though. <coughs> Moving furniture up a flight of steps. Yes. How about pushing against a locked door? What do you think, Marlena? Yeah. Is something moving? No. no. How about swinging a golf club? Uh, Janessa. Yes. Yep. But you said that it was... 
and you have to like you have to be turning the knob there for like something is moving and you're pushing against it. No, you're just the door's locked, you're just pushing on it. Not turning the knob, just pushing. But it's still a push or a pull. But it's not making the object move. Oh. That's the key. It's a push or pull that makes the object move a distance. Okay, let's continue. Jenna, Jenna, you get to call on someone now. Vance? So on your paper, question three, which picture? Oh, did you draw a picture, number two? Yeah, no. Okay, good. Which picture shows an object that has acceleration? Elijah. And why? Because what? So what does that mean? Would it go to the left or to the right? It would go to the left? To the right, toward the window, correct? Okay, it will go to the right. Very good. What is acceleration again? I told you before, this is a key concept that you have to remember for the rest of the year. Acceleration is three things. What three things? Do you remember, Bailey? <coughs> no. No. So speed up, slow down, and change direction. Good. Acceleration. Speed up. Speed up, slow down, change direction. If you haven't memorized that yet, you need to know it. You can only have acceleration if you have a force. Uh, who read that one? Maddie Collins, someone new. Let's look at some main ideas that you read under that heading. Go ahead. Thomas, what page are you on? Nope, the other side. In your book. What page is this? 116. Please look there. Physicist. His fortune. All his money. Making beer. So this guy here, James Prescott Jewell, his family business was a brewery. They made beer and other alcoholic beverages. Um, and he used the money that his business made to do his research, to do his scientific studies. Because it costs money to do scientific research. And you got to get that money from somewhere. And if somebody else doesn't give it to you, you got to use your own. So he used his own, and he discovered laws about heat and electricity. So because of his contributions to what we know now, they named this unit the Jewel. All right, Maddie, call on someone else. Good, he wasn't paying attention. All right, Tyler. Do you do more work when you finish your class faster? What do you think? <coughs> Cole? Mm -hmm.
Okay. Anybody else disagree? Okay. <laughs> Think about the parts of work. <laughs> Think about the definition of work. Let's imagine. Cassidy, will you read that? How many of you have parents who ask you to clean your room occasionally or always? Who cleans your room, Bailey? Your parents clean your room for you? Yep. Do you do any chores? No. Nope. Seriously? No. Nope. That explains a lot. <laughs> okay, well just imagine that I ask you to clean my room then. You got it? You're going to clean my classroom. Okay? Okay. That, there's your tools. Which would be doing more work? If you finish the task in 10 minutes or 30 minutes? Janessa. If you finish it in 10 minutes, you would do more work. Why? Because you're taking longer and you're like doing, like, you're just taking your time. Okay. Someone reply to Janessa. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it done in 10 minutes, it'll be quicker and like you'll be going faster. Any replies to Michelle? I don't. I kind of agree with the 30 minute one because um, if you're doing it like if you're taking longer, you're like doing more work than like. Yeah, I think you'd be doing more work because. <laughs> okay, Janessa, go ahead. But, like, you do it, like, better. it takes longer, like, you do, you do more work with, like, with, like, the work that you're doing, like, you do more work with, like, she'll be like, I would come upstairs and, like, like, five minutes later, she'll be like, did you even clean the room? Yeah. And then, like, she'll go down and she'll, like, tell me what I do. So, like, if it takes longer, you'd be, like, doing more. Okay. Let's assume that you do the exact same amount. Like... Everything gets put away, whether you take 10 minutes to do it or 30 minutes. Talon? I think it takes the same. You think it takes the same? All right, Talon, read the next line. Does it matter how quickly you finish cleaning your room? You apply the same amount of force to move your dirty laundry from the floor to the laundry basket, whether you do it in two seconds or 10 seconds. Do you move the same distance? Yes. Does it take the same amount of force to move your dirty laundry? Yes. Does that make sense, Mr. Thomas? Yeah. Were you thinking about cleaning your room right there? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> well, you were off in Thomas land. Were you thinking about cleaning your room? No. Oh, what were you thinking about? How quickly this class can end? <laughs> okay, so what about Jim? If you run the mile in 10 minutes or 7 minutes, do you do more work? You do the same. Are you sure? <laughs> Here's the thing, though. If you apply more force to make the job get done faster... Like, if you're running the mile, do you have to push harder with your legs mm -hmm. to get finished faster? Yes. If you apply more force, you actually do more work if you do it in less time. If it takes more force. Jenna, are you with me? Okay. I don't get it. That's why I was saying, like, if you do it quicker, you're trying to do more work because you're trying to uh, basically run the mile done. Right. If you apply more force, if you have to push harder with your legs on the ground to run the mile in seven minutes, does that make sense? Yeah, but then how, how is it, like, not, how is it the same for the room one? The, the room one is the same because you don't have to apply more force to pick up your laundry and move it. 
You get it now? Okay, good. All right. Um, Ethan, calling someone. Uh, actually, let's read this one. Jenna. <coughs> we read that one more time. No work is done if you stand in place holding an object. Have any of you ever gotten punished and have to, like, hold something really heavy? Your parents do that? Yeah. Yeah, what do you have to hold? Books. Books out in front? Mm -hmm. Arms straight? Are you doing work? Mm -hmm. Are you doing work? Right. Not according to the definition of, we know in science, but is it hard? Yes. yes. Are your muscles, like, shaken? How many of you have ever, um, in gym class or a sport or something, you have to sit against the wall and just hold that, oh, those wall sits, yeah, they kill. Are you doing work when you do a wall sit? Are you doing work when you do a wall sit? Tell Jenna. Why not? Because you're not making anything move. Is it hard? Yes. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter how much force you apply. If the object, in this case you, don't, doesn't move, then you did not do work. All right, Jenna, call on someone new. Ready? Okay, keep going. Notice your paper for this one. So we, if you go back... A step or two, you know, you remember that the formula is, Janessa? Wait, the, the formula for work, calculating work. Oh, so, how many joules of work did you do in this formula? We remember force times distance. So it would be, will you read the next line first? <coughs> Good? So the work done is one <coughs> joule. Now for the next one, I do want the whole guess method. Uh, Michigan, your turn. Who can tell me the given information? Go ahead, Nate. Good guess on the weight. Remember, weight and force in our, for our purposes of work are the same thing. Weight and force mean the same. So in this case, the force is 50 newtons. The unknown. What are we looking for? Elijah. We're looking for work. What is the formula for work, Thomas? Hopefully you're writing all this down. I'm looking for the whole thing. On the line. Daniela, can you fill in the formula? Substitute. Times. 50 newtons times 3 meters. Jenna, what did you get for your answer? Fifty times three? One hundred and fifty what? Jewels. Jewels. New unit. Jewels. Good. Good. Who hasn't talked yet today? Have I successfully called on everyone? Are you pointing to Marlena or Bailey? Marlena. All right. Marlena. Marlena has talked, but she gets to talk again. You ready? Are you done? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Objects that are magnetic produce <coughs> Draw any picture to show how a moving object can do it. Oops. 
I don't know why that second one didn't show up. So you saw the first one, right? The crane moving the... Good, good picture. Bowling ball hitting pins. What else? Somebody kicking a soccer ball. What else? Time out. If you use somebody kicking a soccer, soccer ball, what's the moving object that moves something else? Okay, you are not a moving object in this case. That's not what they mean. They mean something not human doing work. Nope. Moving objects can do work is the title of the section. You are not a moving object. A bowling ball hitting the bowling pins, that's a moving object. The ball, separate from any human interaction, the ball makes the pins move. What else? What do you have here? Tell us. A cart on a train tracks making what move? The cart's moving what? Okay. Time out. Go back to this. <laughs> In this case, what's moving what? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Right. The crane, the claw, is moving the trees. That is a moving object doing work. Does that make sense? So on your picture, you need to have that cart making something else move. Thomas? A car dragging a box. Okay. Sure. The moving object is the car, and the object it's moving is the box. All right, let's keep going so we don't run out of time. Explain how the windmill uses the force of moving air particles to do work. You've got to know a little bit about windmills here. Um, Roxanne, will you read? No, the red part. So that's one thing making something else move. Air is making the blades turn. Then what? The blades of the windmill make the gears inside the windmill turn. And what do the gears make move? There you go. And our final question. <coughs> Give an example of work that you have done. Name the object that was moved and the distance over which it was moved. So for a correct answer, you must have two parts. The object you moved and the distance you moved it. You have about 10 seconds before the bell rings, and I'm collecting your papers when you leave. So pass them to the inside person when you're finished.